you know how we have it inspired, right? You've got, it's very dark in here, you've got these black curtains all around, so I guess they help with the sound quite a bit. Um, it does, yeah. The mattresses certainly help. And right. of course, the then drapes hide the fact that we're using mattresses. But the mattresses are on here. Right. right. Ah. And of course, they've changed the layout. This is fixed, so there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah. But we'll make it work. And it'll sound great. No. Where are you at? No. Hey, it's about. Okay. Um, okay. So you're going to set it so fire two ways? Yeah, we'll have a cheap rig and a crazy rig. And then you're going to alternate? No, same time. Worked out. We did it in San Francisco a couple of years ago. It works awesome. So then you don't get any crossblade? There's a little, but like it's 30 dB down. Who fucking cares? Okay. So you're going to use, what with the experience you're going to have? Experience. And you're going to use the Nova, it's not the Nova 150. The, th the 300's lost somewhere. Oh. So it should be found. Those are the 150s? Yeah. So you, you gotta show off this DJ rig. This is from cool shit right there. Handmade. And these, so this is DJ B, that's DJ booth A. Because that one is not going to be here. Right. So it's, it's, too, it's too long, you're not gonna do it long ways. You gotta go across, across the room. You want to see that? We don't, if we set up this way, we don't know how many people we can fit to, to listen to it. It may sound better, mm -hmm. but we don't, I mean, there may be only like three or four people that could actually hear it properly. Mm -hmm. So if we go a long ways, at least we could do more than one row. But, yeah. you know, you, I don't think you could do too big of a speaker in here going, See, going that way. See, well, when we were doing the mini, we wanted to show a really simplified setup. Yeah. So now that we've, we're, we're showing different product, we're doing a you know, more traditional setup. So now you're doing Polaris. Yeah, yeah, and we're, we're going to have things set up to where we're showing the other products too, yeah. like the Altair and, and things like that. So uh, I think that we're going to have some displays where that round table is over there. Mm -hmm. And then, because that's where the rack is going to go, it's going to display some, some of the products. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have a podium here that shows the Polaris. Mm -hmm. Or if, if we set up over here, we're going to yeah. have the Polaris there with the Ryan speakers. And maybe at least the you know the, the waves are longer, so we won't get this bouncing yeah. back and forth like yeah. they're talking about. But and then we're going to try to you know have some more setup so it's easier to get lit and we're not straightening them all the time on the you know on the counters mm. and things like that. So I mean the rooms look nice, you know, and I think that they're they're a nice place to be. But yeah, it is very awkward. Mm. So is this the best? Have you tried different configurations of firing across the room in other ways, or you just went this way and this is, it worked out for you? This is how it's set up, and this is how it's going to be. That's visual. Well, I guess you have the advantage of yes. room correction. Correct. Hmm. But we can't stop this reverberation. You will have to do something. So what, what, do you know what's causing that? Is it the, um, the bench work that on there? The room's just a little bit too square. Well, mm -hmm. and... and the hard surfaces, hard surfaces, hard surfaces, hard surfaces, windows. 